Right, hey, Ninetales is gonna maybe try to commentate this game a little bit. We've been lacking a lot in commentary today, but it's been kind of a weird day. Anyways, um, looks like Kakun is running away with the set. It finally took a flare blitz for him to even get damage. That up smash is finishing it. He's a crazy lead, 19% up a stock. A 19% taking someone's stock at 19% in a two stock game is insane for as far as leads go. Charlie's getting his uh, foot in a little bit though. Oh nope, nope. So you know, we has got that thing where her attacks come out on both sides when she's jabbing or forwarding, forward air and forward tilt, forward smash. All those moves come out on both sides of her. Oh, nice dare to up smash on Charlie's part. Charlie's Charizard is just getting better and better. Like I swear, the fact to beat shy today, like holy crap. All right, Charlie gets a nice up B to recover. Does not let himself get spiked. Let's see what he comes up with. No flamethrower against here. K Kuhn is able to escape to the platform above Charizard. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, I thought K Kuhn was gonna read that roll and get some sort of punish off it. Charlie was just like, nah, I'm grabbing. Whatever K Kuhn was doing, it did not come out fast enough because that grab happened. Oh, good recovery on Charlie's part. I was almost worried he went too low, but he knows Charizard better than anyone. Anyone here that is. Ooh! Got him during the non-super armor hit. Kakun goes up a game. So, I just want to apologize. If you've watched other games from this day, like, someone screwed up <laughs> the, uh, the OBS pretty bad, and it's, it's like a huge pain to edit things right now. This isn't even winner's finals. God damn it. Let me fix this, too. Properties. I think this is loser's round three. Anyways, god dang, man. So here we are. K Kuhn, Chari. This is round three. It's either round three or round four. I don't have a bracket right, right with me right now. Chari's going gold. K Kuhn took his clothes off. I like gold Charizard. He's pretty tight. That was weird. The fact that nothing connected there was weird. Like, I would have expected at least like a clank animation on that up air, but he just sort of like stuck an up air through Charizard and nothing happened for it. Good rock smash. That move is always really nice to use as like a counter whenever you know someone's going in to break up combos and stuff. It's just nice. Ooh. Didn't even, that wasn't even that kind of scenario there. He just threw one out and it worked. Alright, Kekun going into defense mode. He does not want to die, even though he's only at 76%. Charizard does get those early kills sometimes, though. Oh, and jump mode's coming on. Let's see the jumping start. I always think these Monado arts are a really interesting part of Shulk, but um, they present a sort of weakness at the same time because a huge part of the game of Smash is... Ooh, wow, the shield exchanges are crazy. Oh, oh, he catches the roll. Chari's still alive though, thanks to shield mode being on. That was like a partially charged down smash too. Oh, alright, anyways, as I was saying, in the game of smash, it's oh, and he even knew too, like he went for the grab. Even if that counter, even if that first hit grab jump mode on, wow, it's hard to keep up with this stuff. This game's pretty exciting. Both these players are doing some really new new things as this goes. Oh, he tried to punish with a uh, Flare Blitz, did not work out. Got the shield hit, and you do not want to hit shields with Flare Blitz. Now, as I was trying to say, in the game of Smash 4, it's really important to know, like, to, to get in your opponent's head, like, know what they want to do, because as soon as you understand that, like, that puts your game plan on a whole other level above theirs. And I think that while Shulk's, Shulk's Nado, Nado Arts present a pretty big advantage in the ability that they mix up his strengths and weaknesses at the critical points he needs them to, I think that they also present a weakness in that players tend to act certain ways in certain Monado Arts. So the moment he, they... Chari just killed himself. That was sad. Sad Flare Blitz. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, the moment they put on a Monado art, you know what they're going for, you know? So, like, it makes it easier to read them. That's, I think, a weakness of Shul 